What's up, YouTubers? This is Scotty with Trek Pro City. Today we are checking out the 2023 Trek Fuel EXE 9.7. Full suspension, carbon, e-bike from Trek. So the Fuel EXE lineup has several different models, this being the second model up in the lineup. All of them using their Trek's OCLV mountain carbon frame. So nice and light and stiff. And in terms of the electronics on all these models, they're using their TQ motor made out of Germany and running the, the battery in the down tube. What makes this bike amazing, in my opinion, is that it is incredibly quiet. Compared to the Bosch systems that Trek use, you can almost not even hear this TQ motor. And the lightweight aspect of this bike. This is about a 42 pound full suspension e-bike. You know, commonly a standard fuel EXE is probably gonna be in the 32 pound, or maybe 35 pound once you dress it up range. So it's really not that far off of a, a regular bike. I've had a chance to ride some of these EXEs. They are fun to ride up the hill. You've got three different levels of assist, a really nice integrated screen in the top tube, very functional control unit on the handlebar, and they've got plenty of boost to get you up the hill. Battery life expectancy is very challenging to tell people, but you know, you can easily get out for a two to three hour ride on this bike and still have, have some battery life. Of course, that depends a lot on the terrain, what level you're riding in, and the rider's weight makes a big difference too. Lighter riders are gonna get more battery life out of these bikes. Let's dig into the details a little bit. So again, we've got that OCLV carbon frame. They're specking the 9.7 with the Fox Rhythm 36 fork, so nice, chassis on the front of course this is an air suspension with the grip damper so we can uh, lock this baby out and stiffen it up if we need to kind of a mid-level fox fork i would say you know we're not kashima coated or anything like that but pretty pretty nice fork overall and the float x rear shock with the extra piggyback to manage heat again with your kind of firm setting for climbing nice rear shock to match the fork so good suspension package and definitely an upgrade from the model below, the 9.5, I would say. Trek has the MinoLink suspension adjustment in the rear of these bikes, so you can change the head tube angle by half a degree and the bottom bracket height. I play with this on my Trek Slash. It's a similar concept and it does make a big difference to the bike, so you can really cater this bike to your riding style, whether you like steeper terrain and you want to set it in the slack position or steepen it up a little bit and uh, have this bike climb like a Banshee. Of course, with the motor, it's gonna go uphill real fast. The parts spec, we've got mostly SLX on this bike. So SLX four piston brakes from Shimano, the Shimano SLX 12 speed shifter, 12 speed 1151 rear cassette, XT rear derailleur to make it look a little fancier, SLX cassette, and an E13 aluminum crank set. So really good overall package. I think this uh, SLX really hits the sweet spot in Shimano's lineup for value and functionality. Good quality overall parts. Bontrager's line comp, 30 alloy wheels, you know, good overall wheel set. You know, nothing to write home about, but certainly gonna be a, a good wheel set, excellent tubeless setup on those wheels. And the Bontrager XR5 team issue tire, I'd say a little light duty for this bike. Honestly, in our BC terrain, I would probably get a flat on these tires within the first five rides, the way I ride these bikes. But, you know, for most people, if you're more of a beginner, intermediate rider, this is gonna be a great tire setup for you to begin with. And once you get a little bit more rowdy on these bikes, maybe think of something with a thicker, thicker sidewall and a stickier compound if you're riding in our wet BC winters. Charge port. For the electronics is here, comes with a charger, of course. You can still put a water bottle cage in these bikes, which is nice. Overall, yeah, really nice package from Trek. Again, we're looking around the 42 pound range on this bike. Price tag on this baby is, I believe, about $9,300 here in Canada right now in 2023. So yeah, thanks for checking out the Fuel EXE 9.7. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, let us know what you think.